Hi, and thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to learn how to configure voicemail on our IP phones using the Cisco Configuration Assistant. From my topology view, you can see that I'm working with the IP phone 7970 and the SPA 525G, along with the UC540. So on the left-hand panel, select Configure, Telephony, and there you'll find voicemail. All right, so a dialog box will be launched where there will be several dif different options that we're going to walk through. So the first thing up here are access numbers. And the first thing is the voicemail access extension, which is the internal extension number for voicemail access. And by default, this is 399. And directly below that, we have the voicemail access PSTN number, which is the external PSTN number for voicemail access. And uh, typically, this is going to be a 10-digit uh, phone number, which is going to be your phone number that you're going to dial. So I've gone ahead and entered a phone number. All right, now we have some voicemail features. The first thing we have is Voice View Express. And Voice View Express allows phone users to interact with their Cisco uh, voice mailbox using their Cisco IP phone display and soft keys available on the phone. So you definitely want to make sure that this is enabled so that your user can have the ability to work with their voicemail directly from their phone. Directly below that, you have Live Reply, which enables the Cisco subscribers um, who listen to voicemail messages by phone or Voice View Express to reply to another user's message by pressing 4-4. So by default, this feature is disabled, but if you do want your users to have the ability to reply to another user's message by uh, pressing 4-4, then you can go ahead and enable that. All right, now below that, we have Play Caller ID for incoming messages, which um, basically enables or disables the playing of spoken caller ID for incoming voicemail messages. So for example, if an incoming dialer um, is internal and um, their number is listed in the directory, the system will go ahead and play the spoken caller's name from the local directory. Uh, as opposed to if the number is unrecognizable, the system will simply um, say the telephone number when the recipient listens to that message. So directly below that, we have direct transfer. And this is a checkbox, uh, which allows you to enable direct transfer to voice mailbox. And um, this can be a number from 1 through 9. The default value is 6. And the prefix is used by the auto attendant and by phone users who do not have soft keys for transferring calls to voicemail on their phone. So this is definitely also a nice feature to have. All right, so let's go ahead and select the mailboxes tab next. Once you select mailboxes, you're going to have your several different users come up. And the first one here is Michael Scott. And when you come down here, there's another checkbox, which en uh, allows you to enable a voice mailbox for that user. So when this checkbox is enabled, you can see that um, extension 201 is a type 1 personal mailbox, and that the user ID is Michael Scott. And the size pertains to how many minutes are allocated to this mailbox, and the default value is 12. So similarly, if I were to select Pam Beasley, my second user, uh, you can see a similar setup right here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, that for GDM um, groups, you can, like, such as Hunt Group and Blast Group, you, cannot, uh, you do not have the option of disabling the voice mailbox. So this is GDM, and you cannot disable that. So that concludes our voice mailbox setup uh, with the Cisco Configuration Assistant. Thank you for joining us today, and we really hope that you found this tutorial useful. Thanks a lot.